In this video, I am going to tell you about the 10 cool things that you can do with Samsung Galaxy S8. Now, I have had this device for a week now and I've been playing around with this device and, you know, looking into its settings and searching for new features. And there are a ton of new features. And I have come across some of the features that really fit in this category of cool things and I wanted to share these features with you. So, without any further delay, I'll just get to it. So the number one really cool feature that I want to talk about is full screen apps. Now as you can see that the display on this device stretches from edge to edge and the bezels on the top and at the bottom are really thin. And you want your apps to run in this aspect ratio since it's not 16 by 9 it's I guess is 18.5 by 9 aspect ratio so all apps don't fit. Now by default all Samsung apps run in this ratio and they cover the whole screen but third party apps. Uh, don't cover the whole screen and they have these black bars at the top and at the bottom which really don't look that cool but there is a way to make them full screen and you know so that they can cover the entire display from top to bottom so let me give you an example and here I've got this backdrops app and you can see that it has got these black bars at the top and at the bottom it does not cover the whole screen so how you can make this app and any other app that you download from the play store full screen so go in settings and in settings go in display and in display you will see this option called full screen apps now here you can turn any app that's not running in full screen to make it run in full screen and you can see now I have this backdrops app at the top and I can simply turn it on go back and now turn on backdrops and here now you can see that it's running in full screen it is covering the entire display from top to bottom so it looks much more cool than just having black bars at the top and at the bottom. So the next really cool thing that I want to talk about is this navigation bar at the bottom. So this is the first time that Samsung has given us uh, this on-screen navigation bar so you can uh, play around with it. So for that you need to go in settings and go in display and here you need to go in navigation bar. In navigation bar you can change the color or you can customize the color yourself and choose any combination that you want. I like it blue so I have that in here and then you can change the layout as well. Here you can set it to recents home and back or back home and recents. This is more like Google Pixel. This is more like you know Samsung layout and I like this one because I'm used to it uh, from using Samsung devices in the past. And then you have got this uh, home button. So this, there is this invisible home button down here. So whenever you press it there is this haptic feedback. You know that you know there's this vibration motor there that you know you can really feel if you tap on it and you can change its sensitivity you can make it more sensitive or less sensitive moving into the next cool feature we have got one-handed mode on this device as well so for that you need to go in settings and in settings you need to go in advanced features and here you will see this uh, feature called one-handed mode so you have to turn it on and then go in settings and here you will see two options you can turn this on from here and then down below you have two options gesture and button so what happens is that you can minimize the screen and reduce its size by gesture and by button so you can either you know swipe up from the bottom corner on the right or left side like this and it will reduce the screen size and then you can move it to right or left or you can simply uh, select this button option so you will have to tap this home button three times like this and it will reduce the screen size. Now let's talk about the next cool feature and it's called multi-window. So Samsung devices have had multi-window for a long long time now and we all know how they work but uh, this one has it a little bit modified and I wanted to talk about it and for that we need to go in advanced features again and here you will see this option called multi-window go in here and here you will see two options use recents button and to turn this on and here you can you know split the screen view or snap window and then we have got pop of view action so there are two options that you can turn on so what this one does is that it allows you to you know long press this recents button to launch uh, the multi window so you have one screen on top and then you can launch another app at the bottom half of the screen so there is that and then you also have another option called snap window so what this does is that if you long press on the recents button it you can select a portion of the screen and for example I want to choose this text and then press done and it will pin that portion of the screen at the top and then down below you can launch any other app and the top of the screen will stay that it's static it's it's the fixed portion of the screen of the previous app that you can pin on the top and then use this information to copy or to note down on any other app down below 
and then we have got another option here called pop-up view action so what this does is that it allows you to reduce the size of the screen and then minimize it so for example i'm in play store i want to reduce its size and then minimize it so all i have to do is swipe from the top right or left corners of the screen like this so it takes few uh you know tries and there you go you can reduce the screen size and then you can change it so this is the biggest size you can go and this is actually the lowest size that you can make the screen and then you can simply move it around anywhere on the screen so you can even minimize it and at one time you can launch as many apps that you want but at once you can only have five apps open on screen so that's one let's do this with youtube and there you go that's two and then move it around let's do this with messages okay so it takes few tries and there you go three let's do this with chrome it's four and let's do this with play music five so at one time you can open five apps so there you go so there are five apps on my screen right now so you can move them around you can minimize them like this and then like this and there you go so once you have five apps like this you can open as many apps and you can have them you know in this floating window like that but at one time you can have only five apps open on screen so and then you can even launch more apps so for example i'm launching camera and then i'll long press it and launch another app alongside it so let's launch google app so i've got two apps running in multi window and then i can have five more apps on top of it like this so at one time we can have seven apps open on screen and that's crazy from samsung this is too much information on screen but for power users you will love it and this feature is here and it's extremely awesome now let's talk about the next cool feature and we know that the screen is huge and it has got this weird aspect ratio of 18.5 by 9 so it's difficult to you know uh, you know uh, pull down the notification panel like this but there is an easier way to do this and you can do this with the fingerprint scanner at the back and for that you need to go in settings and in settings you need to go in advanced features and here you will see this option called fingerprint gesture just turn it on go in here and we'll show you how to do it so all you have to do is swipe on the fingerprint scanner and it will pull down the notification shade for you and then you can swipe on it back upward and it will you know remove the notification panel from the screen and then we have another really cool feature here and it's called game launcher for that again go in advanced features and here you will have this option called uh, games go in here and turn on the game launcher so once you turn that on what it does is that it you know it uh, gets all your games from your device and puts them in this one folder called game launcher and once you tap on it you will see that all your games are, are in here and here you have some options so you can uh, you know turn this one on so that you don't get any alerts during games so you, you will not get any notifications or anything else you will not be disturbed you can open the game muted so you know there will be no sound when you will you know first turn on the game and then you can set the performance while playing the game so you can go normal performance you can go high performance or you can go save power mode while playing the game but if you are playing graphic intensive games like you know GTA San Andreas or Asphalt Extreme I would recommend go to you know high performance mode and then turn this game on from here now there is an another really amazing feature here and it's called always on display so what it does is that for example if your screen is turned off you will see this always on display come on so that you can see I've got my clock and date and time and everything uh, on this always on display and it's always there uh, the rest of the screen is turned off since this is AMOLED panel so it does not you know take a lot of battery power only this portion of the screen is turned on where you see these pixels coming online and that's about it so you can customize this always on display so let's go in okay so the fingerprint scanner is not really good on this device I'll come to that later so to you know just play with this always on display you need to go in lock screen and security so where is that so there it is 
and in here you will see this option called always on display turn this on tap on it and here you will see different options so you can have digital clock if you go in here you can adjust the background so you can have different backgrounds here and then you can adjust different colors so you can play with colors you can have different combination of colors and then you can change the clock style as well so this one is really cool I'm gonna go with that now and then you can have analog clock you can do the same with the analog clock here and then we have got world clock you can do again uh, the same things customize it we've got calendar and then we have got another option here called image so you can set your own image here to show on always on display and then we have got edge clock so it will make use of this edge screen at the side to show time on here and then you can set it to show always or you can turn it off and set certain timing so it will only show up in those specific timings that you will set and then we have information and face widgets here so what that does is that uh, you can set different widgets here so you can set music controller today's schedule and next alarm so what this does is that if your screen is turned off uh, now there you go my always on display is coming on and I'll double tap it and then I'll get to my widgets so I have my music control here I have my uh, calendar here and then I have got my next alarm here so you can see these widgets on the lock screen as well now moving on to the next cool feature we also have secure folder here on this device so what it does is that it allows you to have all your apps or your files uh, stored in this safe secure folder where no one will be able to access them and you can turn this feature on again from lock screen and security go in here and in here you will see this option called secure folder tap on it and it will turn on the secure folder it's turned off by default so you can just press start confirm and then you will have to set a pattern a pin a password you can also add your fingerprints and irises to it so let's go with pin and go next let's give it a pin and confirm it and now it's creating my secure folder so there you go i've got my secure folder here so i can add apps to it so these will be the copies of the original apps that's in your app drawer these apps will be separate from those apps whatever you have in these apps will be um, you know hidden and the information will be stored and tucked away into this secure folder and I'll be able to see it you can add files to it you can edit apps so you can add any type of file you can add images videos audio documents and my files so you can go in my files and from there you can add anything that you want to this secure folder you can add more apps so from here you can even download from the play store or from the galaxy apps and you can choose from any app so you will have one copy of this app in your secure folder and whatever you will do in this app in your secure folder will be separate from the other app that's on your uh, home screen or in app drawer so this next feature that i'm going to talk about is one of my most favorite features on this device and let me show you what this is so to use this feature go in settings and go in sound and vibration and here go all the way down and you will see this option called separate app sound so go in here and here what you can do is uh, you can select an app a specific app for example I have selected YouTube here and then you can choose a specific device that you want to play the app music on so here I have got my Bluetooth um, uh, speaker connected to this device and I will choose that so I've got my Bluetooth device connected so the sound from the YouTube app will play on my Bluetooth speaker but the sound from any other app on this device will play on Samsung Galaxy S8 so at the same time I can play two apps and the sound of one app will be going to my Bluetooth speaker and the sound of the other app will play on my Samsung Galaxy S8 let me give you a demo so here I have got my Bluetooth speaker connected and from here I need to choose the audio output so that's the default audio output I need to choose my phone so now I have got my audio output to my phone now I have got uh, my Bluetooth speaker connected here and I have got uh, I have chosen the audio output as my phone so let's go ahead and give you a demo now let's go in YouTube and let's play a Samsung video here so now pay attention what happens next I'm going to play this your video and the sound will come out of that Bluetooth speaker there you go now let me go back and 
turn on the play music app and here I will play this a default Samsung song here and the sound of this song will come out of my de my device so there you go the sound is coming out of my device let me go back and play this YouTube video and the sound will come out of the speaker so there you go I am playing the music on play music and the sound is coming out of Samsung Galaxy S8 but the sound of this YouTube video is coming out of the speaker here so I'm playing two apps and sound is coming out of two different devices and that's crazy so I hope you get the point now how this works and there you go let's turn both of them and it's crazy this is one of my most favorite features I've not seen this feature on any other device I guess this is something you can do because of Bluetooth 5.0 I'm not sure but it's here and it's amazing now let's talk about the last really cool feature and it has something to do with the games so let's play a game and let's play Clash Royale this is my new favorite and I've been playing it for some time now so the feature that I'm going to talk about is called game tools and what you can do here is that if I swipe from the top I get these options at the navigation bar so one of these options is this one so I'll tap it and here I get some more options so I can run this app in full screen and it will restart and will run in full screen now and there you go now it's covering the full screen from the top to bottom and it looks much more sleek now and let's go back in this option and I can set no alerts during game so I can turn this feature on and off I can hard press button lock and I can um, edge touch lock so if I turn on this feature the edge screen on the sides of the device will be locked and it will not trigger any touches if I do that so if this is something that's worrying you you can turn this feature on and the edges will turn off and they will not trigger any touches so there are some more options you can uh, screen touch lock it so there will be no screen touches if you lock it you can take a screenshot while playing the game and then you can also record what you're playing okay so you can record your gameplay and then share it if you are into that and then you can go into more settings and here you can set your shortcut so this shortcut that appears on the side you can make it screen touch lock screenshot and then record and then you can record videos we have got some more options you can choose to record the uh, gameplay with a selected image with the camera so you can shoot yourself from the front camera while playing the game and then you can choose none so if you don't want to appear on screen and then you have got some settings for audio source so you can use microphone to record your own voice uh, while uh, recording the game or you can have game sounds uh, by default in here as well and then we have got video quality so you can uh, choose different resolutions so at the highest resolution you can shoot for 80 minutes there you can change the bitrate here as well so a lot of settings here for game lovers and definitely game lovers are going to enjoy these settings on this Samsung device so that's about it guys those were the 10 really cool features that you can do on Samsung Galaxy S8 I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video guys till then Take care and bye-bye.